myself have suffered malaria. And I remember when I was in the primary school, I used to suffer malaria every 15 days. And I was absent from so many exams because malaria, uh, I actually suffered malaria too much. So this, considering a student or a pupil in a school who is affected by malaria, he cannot follow his lessons and he will, most of the time is absent because of malaria. Aside of this, malaria is disabling and withdrawing people from work and malaria is also killing people. Many people have, have died because of malaria. It's an epidemic disease that's affecting almost all of the country. No part of the country is free from the malaria. So the government get concerned about malaria. Uh, people are really suffering from malaria and uh, it is uh, one of the most important public health problem in the country. And in some places it is considered as uh, the killer disease number one. Uh, it is really very serious, especially that the risky groups are pregnant women and children. Um, the, the, we are doing our best in the country to compact malaria by the classical methods, uh, but as you all know, uh, these classical methods, they face problems like um, uh, the resistance of uh, the vector to the insecticides and the resistance of the parasite to the commonly used drugs. So people are now looking for alternative methods uh, which can be integrated with the ongoing control methods to uh, increase um, the possibility of at least elimination. It's very difficult to say eradication, but let's say elimination. When they use, people are using DDT for combating insects, <coughs> at that time uh, they suddenly stop because people say DDT is toxic in itself and it's leading to cancer, it's carcinogenic, and there's, there's a lot of debate at that time whether using D DDT or other, other types of insecticides. So uh, people sort of looking for uh, an environment friendly alternative to, to, to fight the insect. And the agency came with this technique, which is uh, environment friendly, and which uh, using it is actually uh, very effective. It, it used to be very effective treatment when, uh, with TSTC and with uh, uh, fruit, fly, fruit fly and with other insects. And so then decided to use this technique to fight malaria. Sudan actually started the project with the International Atomic Energy Agency and that project was successful and then uh, Sudan sort of going to large scale uh, facilities to produce the sterile insects mm -hmm. and then the people sort of some sort of partnership where Sudan agency uh, get a, a third party in the which is IDB and that was a, su a successful step where the the funds are available for Sudan to go to a large scale facility to produce large in, 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 actually large style males to, to use to fight malaria. And the field trials for the time being are very successful as they're very encouraging and very promising and uh, we consider the Brexit project as a success. We managed to establish a colony and we are now <coughs> mass producing the insect and we have already uh, started to do some releases uh, in the site, in the pilot site, so as to develop the technology, to test them, to improve them. And all of these are through the help of the agency, the experts, and through the generous uh, uh, support by giving us the equipment, by training our fellows here, uh, and um, by sharing information through the regular meetings and through these regular meetings we always uh, sit together to discuss, to monitor, to evaluate, to modify and to update the programs. Every year we do that. S that's why it is really very successful for us. Thank you very much.